Ever wondered about the challenges of bulking and cutting in muscle building? Well, you're not alone. These twin pillars of body transformation are as popular as they are perplexing. Um, why you ask? Because they represent a delicate dance between two opposing forces, growth and reduction. Bulking is all about packing on muscle, fueled by a caloric surplus, while cutting is the art of shedding unwanted fat, driven by a caloric deficit. Sounds simple, right? But the devil, as they say, is in the details, and that's where things can get a little tricky. Navigating the nuances of nutrient timing, maintaining strength and performance, and grappling with the psychological elements of body transformation are just a few of the challenges that lie ahead. But don't worry, we're going to tackle each of these topics head on, giving you the insights you need to conquer your body transformation journey. So let's dive into the first challenge, caloric balance. When it comes to bulking and cutting, one of the trickiest things to manage can be your caloric balance. Let's break it down. During a bulking phase, your body needs extra fuel to build muscle, which means you need a caloric surplus. You're eating more than your body needs to maintain its current weight. This extra energy is used to construct new muscle tissue, but it's a fine line to tread too much of a surplus and you're likely to gain unwanted fat along with your new muscle. On the flip side, during a cutting phase, you need to create a caloric deficit. Essentially, you're eating less than your body needs to maintain its current weight. This forces your body to tap into stored fat for energy, helping you shed excess body fat while striving to maintain the muscle mass you've worked hard to build. Now, this might sound straightforward, right? Eat more to bulk, eat less to cut, but it's not that simple. Each phase has its own nuances and complexities. The types of food you eat, the timing of your meals, your workouts, and even your sleep can all influence whether those extra calories go towards building muscle or storing fat. Mastering this delicate balance is crucial for effective muscle gain and fat loss. It's not just about counting calories, but understanding how to make those calories work for you. Now that we've got our calories in check, let's move on to the next challenge, nutrient timing and macros. Nutrient timing and macros. Sounds complex, right? But it doesn't have to be. Let's take a closer look at what these terms mean. When we talk about nutrient timing and macros, we're discussing the need to optimize your intake of protein, carbs, and fats. These are the building blocks your body uses to grow and repair muscle tissue, fuel workouts, and maintain general health. But here's the kicker. The timing and proportion of these nutrients can dramatically influence your muscle building or fat loss efforts. During a bulking phase, your body is in growth mode. You're lifting heavy, your muscles are under stress, and they're crying out for nutrients to repair and grow. This is where protein comes into play. It's your muscle's best friend, helping to repair and build new tissue. Carbs provide the energy for your grueling workouts while fats support hormone production and overall health. When cutting, the game changes slightly. You still need protein to preserve your hard-earned muscle mass, but you'll also want to reduce your overall caloric intake, especially from carbs and fats. This allows your body to tap into its fat stores for energy, promoting fat loss while preserving muscle. But remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. What works for one person might not work for another. 
it requires careful planning, attention to detail and a willingness to adapt based on your body's response. Ayurushasate, now with our nutrients sorted, it's time to tackle our third challenge, maintaining strength and performance. Make sure she, do you still, so you've bulked up, cut down, but how do you maintain your strength and performance? This is a question that rings in the minds of many fitness enthusiasts. The challenge lies in striking a balance between adding muscle mass and maintaining strength and performance during cutting phases, a task that can seem daunting. But fear not, for where there's a will, there's a way. Firstly, it's important to reiterate that muscle mass and strength are two different entities. While bulking up is about increasing the size of your muscles, maintaining strength is about preserving the ability of your muscles to accept force. This distinction is crucial because it helps us understand that the two don't always go hand in hand. During cutting phases, you might find your strength dipping slightly. This is normal and not a cause for alarm. Your body is adjusting to a lower caloric intake and it's prioritizing the preservation of muscle mass over strength. The key here is to continue with your strength training routine, focusing on maintaining the weight you lift rather than increasing it. A well-planned and balanced diet plays a pivotal role in preserving your hard-earned gains. Prioritize protein intake to aid in muscle recovery and maintain muscle mass. Stay hydrated. And don't forget to include adequate vitamins and minerals to support overall health. Remember, the art of balance in bodybuilding is a journey, not a destination. It requires patience, consistency, and a deep understanding of your body. With strength and performance under control, we're left with our final challenge, dealing with the mental aspects of bulking and cutting. Bulking and cutting isn't just a physical challenge, it's a mental one too. This journey you've embarked on, it's more than just counting macros and lifting weights. It's about facing your reflections, wrestling with self-discipline and stoking the fires of motivation. Often, when we talk about bulking and cutting, we focus on the physical. The calories consumed, the weights lifted and the muscles grown. But the mental aspect, it's equally important, if not more so, yet frequently overlooked. Let's shed some light on this crucial element of the process. You see, body image plays a pivotal role. It's not just about liking what you see in the mirror. It's about understanding and accepting the changes your body goes through. Bulking might mean a softer, fuller appearance, while cutting might bring about a leaner, harder look. Both are part of the journey and both should be embraced. And then there's self-discipline, sticking to your diet, pushing through workouts, keeping consistent. These actions demand a mental toughness that goes beyond physical strength. It's about making a commitment to yourself and holding yourself accountable. Motivation on the other hand is the fuel that drives this engine. It's what gets you out of bed in the morning, what pushes you to lift one more rep, eat one more meal. It's the spark that ignites the fire within. Remember, muscle building is as much a mental game as it is a physical one, so keep your mind strong and your body will follow.